Major grant funding is coming to several Ohio communities, and a viral TikTok challenge is causing dangerous issues where we live. 7 News anchor Katherine Guyon has a look back at the week's top headlines. For more than a week, emergency crews were called to tow boats and barges on the Ohio River for reports of suspicious devices. Now one man is in jail charged in connection to those incidents. 42-year-old Nathaniel Blaine Becker was charged with possession of an unregistered firearm or explosive device. Officials trace the materials used in those devices back to stores in Marietta, Ohio, and used surveillance video to identify Becker. These suspicious devices were found on vessels on the Ohio River in parts of Wood County. A big announcement from WVU Medicine this week is it delays a vaccine mandate for employees until January 21st of 2022. The original deadline was October 31st. WVU Medicine Wheeling Hospital President and CEO Douglas Harrison says the deadline was extended because of a new bill in West Virginia that would allow for certain medical and religious exemptions to COVID-19 vaccine mandates. That bill takes effect in 90 days. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine and First Lady Fran DeWine made several stops across the Ohio Valley this week, giving grant money for various major projects. Ohio's First Lady stopped in Barnesville to begin the week and spoke about a project in the area to update water and sewage systems. Governor DeWine announced $60,000 for Mingo Junction to help widen pipes and put in different fire hydrants to help in emergency situations. And finally, the governor also awarded funding to the Harrison County Sheriff's Department to go towards a much-needed jail. Just talking to sheriffs, finding out what challenges they have. And we started looking at this, and frankly, we saw some real big needs in some of our smaller counties, counties that frankly could not afford to build a new jail. And so we said, look, we got we to gotta try to help. And what you're seeing today uh, with our announcement today in these different counties is, is the results of that. The Moundsville Country Club is about to close its doors. The Regional Economic Development Authority, also known as RED, wants to buy that property for industrial use. However, there are two sides to the decision, those who want to accept the offer and those who want to save the club. Country clubs, social clubs, the Elks, the Moose, the VFWs of the world, uh, they're all closing all across the country. Country clubs, especially with golf courses, there's obviously been, unfortunately, a declining interest in the playing of golf. What a shame, and it's such a beautiful place. It's one of the top five courses in the state of West Virginia. The club has been in existence for 81 years. There's a hearing on November 18th, and depending on the outcome, the sale could be put to a stockholders vote by the end of the year. And there's a challenge circulating on social media that's turning out to be downright dangerous. It's called the Lug Nut Challenge on TikTok, and already in the Ohio Valley, Straub Automotive Group says lug nuts were loosened on vehicles at one of its dealerships. Straub also says customers called saying the same thing happened to them. So they say if someone wants their lug nuts checked, head to any one of Straub's six locations. Remember, for the latest headlines any time of the week, just visit WTRF.com. I'm Katherine Guyon, working for you.